What the heck is this? Hey guys, Mickey with CarryTrainer.com. Drew behind the cameras and editing desk. I've got a cool little electronic item to share with you today. Can you guess what it is? Maybe it's one of those things that you like slide across the floor like in a James Bond movie poof, and it shoots out stuff so you can see all the laser beams so then you can dance down the hall to get to the bad guys. Or maybe it's one of those things you take out of your pack and you stick underneath the vehicle and it's a tracking device. Or maybe it's one of those things you're running through the, through the bad guy's place and you, you stick it on the wall and then later you hit the button and... Nope, it's none of those things. This is a tiny little device that's got a lot of cool tech inside of it. I'm going to read right out of the manual. It, it tracks motion, light, and vibration, humidity, temperature, location, and it does all that through 4G. So it doesn't need a Wi-Fi signal. That's very important. No Wi-Fi needed. And it's pretty affordable. Uh, this was given to me by the owner. They're not paying me to do this video. I thought it was an interesting thing. I've been playing with this for months. So he gave it to me and I said, look, man, I'm not just going to take this thing and just share it with people because I don't know what it does. So right now, if this is turned on, there's a subscription you pay for. It's a couple bucks a month. You download an app. You take this device. It's got a rechargeable battery uh, in the bottom of it. Say I got a gun safe. I go put this in the gun safe, and I, for some reason, think somebody's trying to get in that gun safe, and I want to know. This thing, if somebody comes and shakes that door of the gun safe, it's got an accelerometer in it, so it feels that vibration. Ping! My cell phone goes off, and it says, uh, vibration alert. I might also want to know the humidity in that gun safe. If for some reason that humidity spikes, like a water pipe bursts in my basement and it's filling up with water, ping! I get an alert telling me that. Uh, that stuff comes through the, through the text messaging service. It's super cheap, a couple bucks a month, like I said, to do that. Uh, another cool thing that I've, that I've done with this, so I take this on vacation, I travel a lot for work. Um, maybe I'm afraid somebody in the hotel's messing with my stuff. And if you don't believe that stuff happens, it does a lot. I can take this dude, drop it into my suitcase, and I'm out on the beach or out on the range, and my suitcase is back at the hotel, somebody starts screwing around with my suitcase, this thing immediately senses light, so it sees light. If I put this inside the suitcase and it's dark and you open the suitcase up, if light hits this thing, it fires off a message. It tells me exactly when it happened, and, and I can track that. So if I'm down at the beach, I can jog up to my room and say, what are you doing? If you've got a camper, a trailer, a motor home, uh, uh, some place that doesn't have Wi-Fi, uh, some place that doesn't have a, a telephone line, as long as you've got a cell phone connection, and it doesn't even need to be that great because it's just pinging, it, you don't need a, a awesome connection to send a text message. Uh, this thing will pick it up, fire it off. To help with that too, there's an auxiliary antenna, plugs right in. I don't know if you can get longer ones or not, but it's got a little sticky do down there. You can stick that somewhere to, uh, to help uh, get that signal out. Tracking capabilities, so it's using triangulation off of cell phone towers. It's not sold as a quote unquote tracking device, so it's not like a low jack. Like if I stuck this in my carry trainer trailer and God forbid somebody stole the target trailer, what this does do, and I've, I've tested it, it has given me readings that like showed the intersection I was at. So I think it has to do with uh, how well or how close to cell towers you are and like um, maybe the speed of those networks. I'm not super savvy on those things. They don't sell it as like a uh, quote unquote tracking device. Uh, as its key feature, but it might get you within uh, a city block, might get you a lot closer, um, which is kind of cool. You take this thing and you put it in uh, uh, the vehicle you've got parked, you put it somewhere uh, where, where you've got an item, a job, job site box, you know, of all of you trades guys, you got somebody at the shop, you work as an auto mechanic, and you're sure somebody's been messing with your tools while you're at lunch, you put this dude in there. Now, you might say, well, why don't I just get a camera system? Cameras are cool. I think this is a layer, um, and it fills a really specific niche. Uh, for example, you've got your stuff out on the range. Uh, I, I'm out there where we've got a bunch of gear out there, 
my gun bags and things like that. You put that in the gun case. If I'm off in the, the porta potty, my phone goes off. And I'm not being a weirdo about this. I just was thinking about ways that it could be used. Uh, this thing will send you a text message. So the way I think about this is like a little yapping dog. It's not going to, to stop the bad guy. It's going to tell you something's happening right now. The owner tells me that he had a customer that uh, had one in a job site trailer, I believe, and they had had some robberies or some break-ins. And everything going on in the world right now, the police were not running out there to check out a commotion on a job site trailer. The, the person that purchased this got the alert drove over to the job site and was able to scare off some people that sounds like they were there stealing tools or construction materials. Um, because it works through the cell phone network, again, you don't need Wi-Fi, you don't need a telephone line, you don't need a power supply, it's got that battery uh, supply in it. Something about the battery, if this thing's gonna go off all the time because somebody's constantly opening and closing things, the battery's gonna wear out faster. If it's in the gun safe that only gets open once a month, I, I had this thing turned on uh, in my truck, uh, playing with the app and stuff as we were on the road, seeing how sensitive it was. And so I got 98 million text messages uh, every time we, we, as we were moving. So we killed the battery in a matter of hours. But um, the battery, if it's in a stationary spot, and it's not picking up movement, light, vibration like crazy, you're not gonna get those things. Speaking of that, you could almost use something like this, and I haven't even thought about it until now, as a makeshift kind of perimeter security. If you have like a walkway, and you wanna know if people are coming by, you could place this thing somewhere where it would pick up movement. Uh, you could think of and imagine the different uses for this product. Again, I'm not paid by these folks. I thought it was neat. They sent it to me. I've been playing with it for months. Simtech is the company. S-I-M-T-E-K. Simtech. Neat little device that kind of fills a niche for your personal security. Check them out. Be well. Don't be dickheads. Support good people and good companies. Tell somebody you love them today. Bye now. Brandishing is probably our top claim. We get more claims for brandishing than, than any other kind of incident. It usually goes one of, one, of, one of two ways. We get the call that I was involved in a road rage or somebody was threatening, menacing me in some way and I displayed my firearm and the threat dissipated. I've called law enforcement, they're on the way, I need representation. Or the one we is harder to deal with is when we get the call and he says, I was involved in a road rage last week. Oh God. Um, I displayed my firearm, the threat dissipated, but now the police are knocking on my door wanting to know what I, what I did. In law enforcement, the first person that calls 911 is viewed as the victim. What happens, road rager, has called 911 and said, hey, this guy pointed a gun at me. Now we're behind the eight ball mm. when, it, when it comes to uh, offering coverage. For sure. Because sure. that guy's now saying, 